Real Estate Time Machine. Hi, I'm Realtor Scott Tompkins, and welcome to the new Real Estate Time Machine, where I look at interesting topics in the history of real estate. Today's topic, the Equal Credit Opportunity Act of 1974. Travel back in time with me to the early 1970s, when I was born. Did you know that back then, a single woman could be denied credit just because of her gender? Yep. Pre-1974, lending wasn't just about finances. It was about fitting someone else's biased idea of creditworthy. But on this day in 1974, Congress passed the Equal Credit Opportunity Act, or ECOA, and things began to change. So what did this act actually do, and why did it matter so much? Before the ECOA, lenders had what they called discretion, but it looked more like discrimination. Women could be denied credit for being single, divorced, or even just for being women. Some banks required a male cosigner for loans, even if the woman had a stable job and solid income. And here's where it gets really interesting. The ECOA made it illegal for lenders to deny credit based on race, sex, marital status, or age, among other things. It was groundbreaking legislation like handing people a megaphone to say, hey, we deserve equal financial rights. Take Jane, for instance, a working mom who earned a good salary. She applied for a mortgage on her own, but was turned away because the bank doubted she'd stick to the job, just because she had kids. Or Lisa, an unmarried woman, denied credit because she might get married or pregnant and might become a financial risk. Or Sarah, a married woman whose lender discounted her income by half because they thought she might leave her job for family reasons. This practice was especially common for married women or those who might become pregnant, as lenders assumed they would prioritize family over work or become dependent on their husband's income. By the way, all three of the women pictured were my mother, Susan. Thanks to the ECOA, these kinds of roadblocks became illegal. The act gave the Federal Trade Commission and the Department of Justice the power to take action against lenders who discriminated, ensuring that creditors couldn't just make up reasons to deny loans based on personal biases. So whether you're applying for a mortgage, a credit card, or a car loan, you've got the ECOA to thank for making sure qualifying is about your finances, not your gender or marital status. The Equal Credit Opportunity Act fundamentally reshaped who gets to build wealth and security in this country. Remember, it's not just about loans, it's about fairness. Oh, and one final note. If you looked at my mother, someone who in my short lifetime faced legal discrimination and said, I'm with her, Make sure you vote on November 5th. Your vote will protect the rights of women across this nation. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to be notified when I release new content. Thanks for watching, and if you're interested in making your own real estate history in the Pacific Northwest, I'm here to help. Happy house hunting.